Former 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick wrote a letter to Jets general manager Joe Douglas that was dated September 21st, asking that the team consider signing him to the practice squad. According to rapper J. Cole, the letter was shared on Cole's Instagram account on Tuesday. In part, it read, worst case scenario, you see what I have to offer and you're not impressed. Best case scenario, you realize you have a real weapon at your disposal in the event you ever need to use it. Stephen A., uh, what's your reaction? Sadness. Because it ain't going to happen. See, we have to stop all of this noise, and we have to address it with the realness that it deserves. Colin Kaepernick, I hope I'm wrong. I'd love to see him back in the National Football League. I believe he deserves an opportunity to be back in the National Football League. I believe that he was blackballed. I believe he was blackballed unfairly. I think it's a damn disgrace and a crime that he has been kept out of the National Football League this long. But where I've taken heat, and I will always take heat for this, because I will never, ever, ever change my position on this, is that in the end, not 2016 to 2019, but in the end, as of November 2019, when he had that tryout that the NFL organized and he elected not to show up and instead had that at a high school, an hour and 20 minutes away, Swagoo, Mad Dog Russo, Molly, I said on first take the next morning, it is over. He's done. And I stand by that. And to this day, I have not been proven wrong. Now, Molly, y'all could put up the timeline of the events that involved Colin Kaepernick from the time of 2016 to now. Since during the national anthem to protest racial inequality, which we all applaud him for, begins kneeling to the protest, which was perfectly within his right. Kneeling during the national anthem, he is an American citizen. He did not, he exercises constitutional rights, not to mention the fact that he was in violation of no NFL bylaws whatsoever. He should have never been punished for it at all. Unsigned, he files grievance against the National Football League. He's alleging collusion. They settled two years later, nearly two years later, in February of 2019. All of that, totally in Colin Kaepernick's favor. Here's where things went south for good, as far as I'm concerned. November 12th, 2019, NFL arranges the workout for him at the Falcons facility. He moves it to a high school and lets them know literally about a couple of hours earlier. From that moment forward, it was over. Now, let me, pre let me break this down to y'all. Swagoo, Mad Dog Russo, in November of 2019, when Colin Kaepernick refused to show up, now, mind you, let's keep this in mind. Most people don't sue their former employer and then turn around and try to go back to work for them. That doesn't happen. But Roger Goodell, NFL League office, in concert with Jay-Z and others, essentially assembled this, organized it because the individual teams were scared that if they didn't pick him, they would get accused of racism or whatever it was that they were fearful of. Those were the things that I heard. So they didn't want to take on the individual responsibility as a team, which was why the league, for the first time in league history, organized the workout. All right? Tried to get him to sign a waiver. He said it's not the typical waiver of player signs. They said, of course it isn't, because we've never, usually a team does that. But this is the first time in league history the league is organizing it, and we have to protect ourselves from you because you just sued us, okay? But having said all of that, we go to 2019. Here's what I have a list for you, Swagoo. These are backup quarterbacks that played at one point or another the same season that Colin Kaepernick was trying to come back in November 2019 when he didn't show up for the workout. Brandon Allen, three starts for Denver. Jeff Driscoll, three starts for Detroit. Matt Moore, two starts for Kansas City. Chase Daniels, one start for Chicago. Brian Hoyer, one start for Indiana, Indi in Indianapolis. Sean Marion, Mannion, I'm sorry, one start for Minnesota. Colt McCoy, one start for Washington. A.J. McCarron, one start for Houston. Colin Kaepernick, a, a, a guy that took the team to the Super Bowl in the San Francisco 49. You trying to tell me Colin Kaepernick couldn't play? Of course he could play. Of course he could have been on a roster. 
All he had to do was show up. And I personally was told at that time, if the brother showed up to the workout because of public pressure being brought down upon the league and the fact that we were all watching, he would have had to throw the football in the stands to not have a job in two weeks. That was a quote that I received, doggy. He would have had to throw it into the stands to not receive a job. But he didn't show up. And now we fast forward to 2023. January 1st will mark seven years that Colin Kaepernick hasn't been in the league. And in the year 2023, on opening day just a few weeks ago, the NFL started 14 black quarterbacks. Seven of the top 11 paid quarterbacks in the National Football League are black. Those owners are going to use that as an excuse to point to, ain't about racism. We don't want to hear that. It's about the attention that you brought to our brand that we believe compromises the bottom line. And no matter how wrong they may be, the public evidently sides with them because the ratings have gone where, fellas? The money has gone where, fellas? Their coffers, it, ha has it dwindled? Has it diminished? Has it shrunk? No. Just like I told y'all. In February of 2019, I'm sorry, in November of 2019, I said when he didn't show up for that workout, it's over. And that's where we are today. I hope I'm wrong. I would not, nothing would make me happier.